Uh, good morning. Obviously, we had a uh, great jobs report uh, this morning. Unemployment down below 8% and uh, the economy continues to be robust. Bullshit. In its V-shaped recovery. And unfortunately, uh, that's not what everybody's focused on this morning. Uh, as uh, all of you know, the, uh, the president and the first lady tested positive uh, for COVID-19. Uh, they remain in good spirits. Uh, uh, the president does have mild symptoms. And, Donald uh, Trump. Uh, as we look to try and uh, make sure the that fourth lady his of the United States. Welfare is good. I can't say I can't. I can't even even fourth America. lady don't even uh, sound right. Just take lady out out again. Take out the debate uh, over masks. Donald in Trump this country, and his old lady. Now asking parents. Uh, to please Donald wear a Trump mask. Are you serious? Are you serious? serious? Gary in the end. COVID. Gary in the end. This is a travesty. Where I'm sitting right here in West Lafayette, and you know they brought it on themselves. Why? Because the city of Gary, Indiana, for many times, Gary, Indiana has been known as the murder capital of the world. They thought the school district in Logan, Ohio, requires all spectators to wear a mask. They thought, but rather be walking the street, right? Telling Officer Chris Smith from back in the day, Gary, Indiana, was white. Told her she was now. They got all these idiots all excited about the rapture. You wicked ass low level motherfuckers ain't going no goddamn well. You're going to be right here with the rest of these wicked ass heathens. And if you don't pull your head out of your ass quick, you're going to end up taking that fucking mark of the beast. And eventually your ass is going to be destroyed by the motherfucking messiah. What is up, my gods and goddesses, kings and queens, my niggas and niggas? It's about to go down. It's about to go down. What do you see? I see some bald head hoes. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, <clears throat> check this out. Uh, the last Intense News video, which I believe that was the last video I uploaded. Um, I talked about uh, one of my kids just uh, just uh, just passed away. And a few days after that, the last kid that I had, that motherfucker died too. And I talk about these signs and all this shit. Um, one of the last times this happened on this level was 2018. I had a, a number of kittens that died uh, eating from the inside out by maggots and all kinds of shit. And also, uh, all that shit took place just before we had a blood moon in July of 2018. And of course, that led up to August when I came back to YouTube because I took some time off. That led up to August of 2018. When I dropped that motherfucking video, as soon as I came back, and that video was called Black Panther, Return of the Negro Messiah. Mm-hmm. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Now, look at all this bullshit that's going on. Uh, and like I always say, I'm not the only one talking about something going down uh, before this election, possibly. And, of course, I was talking about Jordan Maxwell, who's talking about all hell's about to break loose in October. And all these people having their dreams. Having these dreams concerning uh, Halloween. So, once again, this shit has happened so many times throughout my YouTube career. 
My father in heaven sends a goddamn demon after me. I go off on the motherfucker. Bring out the Grim Reaper. Motherfucking sun turns red. Motherfucking, uh, I go to another level, dropping videos like a motherfucker. <laughs> and dogs going crazy. Cats dying. Now, Donald Trump got the coronavirus. Bullshit. Now, let's get into a little bit of news here. I told you, motherfuckers, you gotta read. See, I read. As always, I'm on one of my favorite websites before it's news. And this article is by Global Agenda. And the headline says, There are two end games to Trump getting COVID-19, and neither one of them is a happy ending for mankind. Uh-huh. It's your ass, Mr. Postman. The past 12 hours on Twitter has seen the words hoax and fake news trending number one. Trump has been called out for creating this hoax as fake news by telling the world via Twitter that he and Melania have contracted the coronavirus from his campaign chair, Hope Hicks, who is down and out with the corona. Trump has called the virus a hoax himself and has appointed himself the czar of the of the operation warp speed vaccine committee. Uh huh. This is this is about getting these motherfuckers to take that vaccine. Trump got the motherfucking coronavirus and he took the vaccine and he's okay. So we need to go get it too. It's your ass, Mister Postman. That's the goddamn mark of the beast, motherfucker. Yeah. Trump testing positive for COVID nineteen is not a good thing for the world. Nope. Trump is behind the vaccine program in the states. So with him and Melania getting sick just increases the need for the vaccine and he will get it out as soon as he gets it. They, they you know what? I talked about uh my other sister, the one who I said I haven't seen <laughs> I haven't seen her without a mask since this shit started. She's one of these people who I haven't talked to her since Donald Trump got the coronavirus. I know she's freaking out like a motherfucker. I already said, I ain't, like I said, I ain't seen her without that mask since this shit started. She probably really is sleeping in that motherfucking mask now. And she's one of these people who, because of this bullshit with Donald Trump, when it's time to take that vaccine, the mark of the beast, she's going to take that shit like most people. No hesitation, no questions about that shit in any way, shape, or form. And they motherfucking ass is grass. Alright, here's another article. From Before It's News. This is by Mac. And <laughs> the headline says, The government has released their initial plans to force a vaccine on everyone. Uh -huh. Now, this, <laughs> this article was from uh, September 16th of 2020. Read a little bit of this shit here, too. Let me see. Play, motherfucker. Earlier today, remember this is, uh, what, I say the 16th of September? This is before Donald Trump got the coronavirus. It says, earlier today, the Trump administration released its plans to vaccine everyone in a short time. Three potential vaccines are currently in stage three trials in the United States and could be ready in weeks. Mm hmm. President Donald Trump said on said Tuesday. And see, this was uh they was talking about this shit, and of course everybody been talking about this shit. This mandatory vaccine. This article was prior to uh Donald Trump getting the coronavirus. Bullshit. Now, um, I've uh, <laughs> this fucking uh, end times news shit that I've been doing is really a combination of the Player Lord Show and Ghetto News. Those videos that I put together, and in Ghetto News, 
one of those episodes I made, I was talking about Willie D, my nigga from the Ghetto Boys. Uh, he got into some little shit back then and shit, uh, doing this censorship crap, and they uh, froze his YouTube account and all that shit. But uh, I'm going to play a little clip from um, Willie D, <laughs> and also um, I'm going to end it with a little clip from uh, Richie from Boston. But before uh, I get to Rich Richie from Boston, I... I mentioned in that Ghetto News episode where I was talking about Willie D that he made one of my favorite songs of all time called Ball Headed Holes. <laughs> and before I play this clip of Willie D, I figured I'd make a little, uh, do a little rendition of one of my favorite songs of all time, Ball Headed Holes. Yo, what's up, fam? <laughs> I'm styling on the boy. <laughs> Family, if it's your first time checking out the show, let me know what city, what state you're coming in from. If you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you're representing. I need you to smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. Put it in their face. Some people don't want to see this video. Put it in their face. Force feed them. Make them see it. <laughs> Family, if you have not done so already, after you subscribe, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that thing so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be in the loop. Family, this case of coronavirus is worse than they thought. Assuming that the doctors are correct, the, well, the source close to Donald Trump, who is leaking information to the media, is saying that it's worse than anybody thought. The next 48 hours will be critical. They said that when it comes to COVID-19, uh, the first seven to 10 days are the most deadly. And they suspect that Trump is within those seven to 10, uh, those uh, not two, seven, but two to 10 days. So those first uh, two to 10 days is the most uh, deadly. And they suspect that uh, Trump is well within those, within those two to six days. And they're saying the next 48 hours that's why they're saying the next 48 hours is, well, that's why they believe that he's within those two to 10 days because they're saying that there are reports that the next 48 hours is going to be very critical to whether or not he can recover. If he don't recover, he will be on a voyage to the upper room upper room. Who we, man?
Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 2nd of October. It's the year 2020, or at least that's what they want us to believe. And I have been watching the chat, but I brought Days of Noah back in because we kind of expected something wacky like this. And before we hit the button to go live, we were mentioning that as ridiculous as it is, we live in a reality where a cartoon like The Simpsons, like the bipartisan report says right here, The Simpsons haven't been wrong yet. And now we have the president and his wife are in the grips of the killer virus with a 99.9% recovery rate. I brought Days of Noah back in. Brother, what do you make of this? And go as long as you want. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for having me on again. Yeah, no I appreciate worries, it. Uh, yeah, man, it's this is a frustrating moment because uh, on one side, we we've been prepared for this type of psyop where of course they're going to use the the life of of trump in some fashion to confuse everyone but on the other hand it's like where are they really going to go with this as we were discussing before this are they just going to really as as you've as you've stated before if if they actually dispatch <laughs> trump uh everything's going to change immediately. I mean, they could they can roll out uh, mandatory vaccines literally in a matter of days or hours. Because but, the president died. Yes, yes. I mean, it's a good one. Yeah. So right. let me give let me give you one of my my theories. There's a lot of theories going on going on right now, especially from the the blue pilled uh, left and right. It's it's just it's amazing how politics have changed society such that everyone to a degree has become some type of low level uh, wet behind the ear conspiracy theorist and it's it's just unfortunate because real conspiracy uh, f fact based uh, researchers like ourselves are now lumped into this big pile of the conspiracy theory world and it's it's just it's it's also part of the the whole programming and psyop i understand that but anyhow uh, I'm looking at it like, <clears throat> and, and from the beginning of this, I, I really was focused on vaccines. I was, I was thinking that you know what, what they can do, what they can easily do is bring in a, a virus, and they could make it appear as if it's extremely dangerous, and it doesn't have to necessarily be extremely dangerous. It's more about the sentiment. It's more about the perspective. It's more about perspective management than it is about actual reality. I think we're aware of this now, especially living in this social media virtual world, hashtag movements and so forth. Uh, entire uh, real life things can change overnight based on a type of symbolic message. So knowing that it's like, okay, well, they don't really have to show people dying. They don't really have to put out an actual disease that's killing thousands or millions of people. They could just put out the idea of one and put enough evidence, at least um, um, enough symbolic evidence before our eyes to convince us that it exists. Well, ain't nothing much more for me to say about this bullshit. Um, uh, also, uh, my girl sent me a, uh, when this shit first started, she sent me this link to this video. And when I checked it out, that motherfucker had 666 comments on that motherfucker. Hmm. See, these are the kind of signs that's going on that I and we... We pay attention, we'll see this shit. This demonic shit has been here, but it's really here now. Like I said, the spirit world is opening up, and these niggas are about to get fucked up. So, last thing I gotta say is this. Um, since I've been on YouTube since 2016, I've done everything in my power to be as honest as I possibly could. And I mentioned a long time ago, on, as a matter of fact, this was the Player Lord Show episode six. And I said that after I woke up to all this shit and realized who these people are and all this shit, that I just completely stopped dating. I completely stopped messing around with these women. No one night stands, none of that shit. So I told my girl that I haven't been with a woman in eight years. Yep, I ain't bullshit. So, I'm finna go on a three-week vacation. 
and I'm gonna get laid. Yeah. And <laughs> during this time, you know, it's been eight years. During this time, if y'all happen to hear this loud explosion, it's me. And also during this time, if y'all happen to hear a woman screaming, well, that'll probably be me too. <laughs> so, um, if all, if all hell don't break loose in this world on the level of what Jordan Maxwell is talking about, then I will return just before Halloween. <laughs> and of course, uh, anybody want to get in contact with, me, contact with me over the next number of weeks, of course, you can send me an email. So, uh, what more can I say? That's my End Times News report for this evening. I am the Player Lord. Lord of all players, the Messiah. I'm out of here. Peace. Yep, these people keep fucking with me. So, people are gonna have to die. And who's gonna die? Everybody in the United States of the motherfucking America. Yep. Ha <laughs> ha.